<clears throat> oh shoot. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Welcome to yet another episode of Never Have I Played. We are on part three of Resident Evil. And I got a comment here that says, go back to uh, the outside and something about the dagger. Because I feel like I'm just overlooking stuff and it's been a while since I've played, but I think I have my head wrapped around once that person that left a comment, which you guys can see on the screen right now, um, that shout out goes to you. Thank you so much for leaving that comment because it made me think of some things and kind of makes me want to analyze a little bit more of my inventory because maybe I'm just missing something. Maybe I have to do some examining or something. And they said, Paul says, I haven't played this, this game in like forever, so I practic uh, particularly can't particularly help you. But what I would try to do is going outside using the dagger method you uh, thought about. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at our inventory. We're going to go outside and see what we can get done. And if you guys enjoy Resident Evil content, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel because we're going to be doing a lot of horror gaming content, content on this channel. But right now, I'm utilizing my free time this week because I have to be quarantined as I have COVID again for the second time, um, unfortunately. So I'm trying to utilize a lot of my time to make content, even though I should be wrestling up a lot more. Uh, this is not outside, is it? I don't think so. This might be up. Yeah, outside, maybe not. I don't remember which door was it. I'll say this one. It's locked. It's not that one. And then we'll move how much car can do this. Uh... Since we're here, let's examine all this stuff. Um, this is just the knife. There's nothing I can do here. Uh, Mid-sized, lightweight survival knife. Jill's personal protection knife used for close encounters. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and examine this. Check it. It's a gold around the outer edge due to frequent fitting. What about the back? Does that tell me anything? Nothing unusual there. All right. Don't need to check that. What is this? Shotgun shells. We need to keep that. Uh, blue gemstone. It's beautifully cut. What is it? Beautifully cut and polished. All right. Cool. Let's examine this. All right. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Whoa! Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, that means I have to check these things. And I also need to find some health because I just now realize I'm in the caution area. So let's do that as well. But I don't know why I keep doing that button. Let's equip this because you never know what we all run into. It's been a minute. I think. Best course of action to go outside. Was it the middle of the stairs? It might be the middle of the stairs, if I remember correctly. Yes, this is the one. Also, I do apologize in the previous videos that you could hear nothing but um, the air conditioner. So I do want to apologize about that in advance. Or not in advance, but apologize about that in general because that was not intentional. But we're here outside. And let's check out what we got here. Simple as that. So, okay. Well now I, I know that. What, what is it? So I gotta do this? Ah! Just like that. Alright, don't freak out. Just chill. It's a new area. 
You wanna go slow with it? I hope. Don't freak me out. Stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. Okay, so pay attention. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. Hmm, I wonder. No, we know that one. There's pieces missing, so. Oh, let me check this one. Stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. Stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. Alright, let's go ahead and see if I can combine with the gun. Perfect. So, I also want to <coughs> apologize for any coughing that I don't cut out of in the video. Because I want to get a lot of content caught up for you guys to enjoy. The book is fitted perfectly in the, the invention. Why would you take that right now? The camera battery already died, but I'm looking at these items that I pick up now just this way because there says there's a key embedded on the back of the cover. Will you remove it? Um, yes. We got the mansion key. Perfect. Oh, I can open it. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. What the hell does that mean? And what is above me? Somewhere down, obviously. Alright, let's go ahead and stop. I'm just trying to get used to these controls, man. I think there's a door right here. No? Not for an eye, two for two. There's inscriptions on these things, too? I wonder if it's to open that bottom right door. Left door. Truth! That's the only locked door that we can't get into, I believe. There is, maybe there is another locked door, but I'm hoping it's this one. Okay, it's locked. It's an emblem of a helmet. It's covered. Wait, that's not it. So which one? Ah, oh, this is so confusing. So it's gotta be, well, there's only one other thing is upstairs. So one of these doors somewhere. You use 
the mansion key. All right. Oh, 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 here we go. New part of the freaking mansion has been unlocked. And I have to be so cautious. I bet you they're like right behind this door. Got eerie sounds. I don't like it. There's nothing here but a bunch of stuff. There's nothing. There doesn't seem anything useful here. Oh, I'm freaking out, bro. Broken and the picture inside has been removed. Will you take a wooden mount? Sure. I'm gonna examine it right now because I wanna know what it does. There's nothing unusual about it, so what the heck is it gonna be used for? There's three doors that I can go into. One of the three is locked. I'm at the end of the hall. <coughs> so I know I need to go back to that other door too to make sure. An old fashioned chromophone for the record is Jupiter. Will you take dog whistle? A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like this vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor of balcony. I don't know if my son of that's very nice. And he's out, ought to come, he's ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in, and the thing is, I reckon you only person that can get near that damn dog without risking serious mauling, which means you only you can put this color on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you have always wanted to get hold of. On exchange for your service, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. So... I have to call upon the dog to basically attack me and then, oh man, what is that, it says I can grab something, I want the lighter though, <coughs> so there's a lighter there. Oh, shoot. How the hell did that happen? How did it... What's going on? I just one-shotted him, though. Is this the door I just came through? Okay, I think so. Dang it, man. Good news is I've got this. I can't carry it. I always press the start button like it's going to do me any good. Dang it, I don't know, man. Is there where I can put stuff down? So. Oh 
no, I didn't switch to the thingy. I'm gonna switch to the pistol. This is really gonna freaking mess me up. Man. Okay. I'm gonna put the blue gem in there. <coughs> I think I'm gonna add this in there. I'm gonna add that in there. I'm gonna keep the man. Key or did I open the door already? Guess we can add the mansion key in there for now. Just in case. Now we know where this area is at. Add the stuff that we don't really need at the moment. Let's take this up. The fuel can canteen. Yes, now what do I do with it? Carry with you, you fuel to light a few times using a lighter. Um, okay. Special search for the disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding these beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are a few ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to seize their resurrection, incineration, destruction of the head. If further, if further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to use to those of you who will have to, the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. Great. You need something to light it with, <coughs> which you'll need to find yourself. So these are pretty much, I guess these are items I'm going to need to permanently have with me is... Um, a lighter, which I know where that's at, and, and, um, you know what I'm trying to say. So we're going to grab the lighter, and then we're going to grab the health thing, and then we're going to heal, and then we're going to save. Find status. There's a chance the one that was on the ground here might be up. So I'm assuming that leaves it for another. Okay. He didn't get up. So wait, where's the one that I blew his head off with? I unlocked it. How the hell did I unlock that? Unless it's the key. Alright, so we need to go here. Then we're going to check that one room real quick and then we're going to go back down and save. Wait a minute. So that's the one I need to unlock. Well, now I know what I need to do next. Hmm. Wait a minute. This is a different area. Oh, okay. I know where I'm at now. That brought me all the way around because this is the door I came through. Except I can't go through this door. There's no knob on this door you can, you can go through. Dang. See, there's an emblem of armor, like there's three of them now. So of course the one that I need to use is the one that I need to get. Ooh, okay, well, we'll come back for that. I just didn't expect that. 
so that means something big's coming. Let's go ahead and head downstairs, save the game, and we'll pick up on the next episode. I'm going to try to keep these episodes about 20 minutes apiece. Give or take. So let's go down here. Wait, no. Did I mess something up? I should have swore I went through here. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through it anyway. Cause I was downstairs. Was I not? Now I'm in a totally different area. I'm so confused. I am so confused. Not just down there? <coughs> what the hell? I had to have been. Did I just get myself all mixed around and I'm not paying attention to what's happening? No, it's not. I know for a fact it's not this way because this is back. What? <laughs> what did I just get myself mixed up with? Unless there's another door downstairs. Or, or I swear I had to have come this way then. Because I said, well, we gotta go back the other way. But it should have been just one little room, right? either. What the hell? So how? How did I get myself this confused? It was downstairs. Because I went downstairs, right? Okay. Ooh. It's this door. Which I don't know how I... Huh. Alright, so we got one health. <coughs> one max health. <coughs> I don't know how I missed that. Alright, now I refueled the cantina thing. And we're saving right here, boys and girls. There we go. That's how you have it. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, a favorite, share with a friend, or two, or three. As always, look free, work hard, and based on. Feel free to leave a comment down on anything else you guys would like to see on the channel.